Hi everyone, I hope you're really well. Welcome or indeed welcome back to the channel. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe because today I thought we would do a chatty get ready with me. Yep, I've been really good today. It's a beautifully sunny but cold Friday today and I've been out on my bike. I froze, my arms and legs were absolutely freezing. I think my husband said when he left for work this morning, the temperature in the car, it said it was minus one. So the colder times are coming, which I'm very happy about. But yeah, I was absolutely freezing by the time I got home. I hopped in the shower and I thought, well, I need to get ready, so why not film a chatty get ready with me? Because I think it's been about a month or so since my last one, and it's always quite nice to have a bit of a catch up, I think, really, and for me to just talk about some random stuff, I suppose. This get ready with me is going to be a bit of an interesting one, just purely because I washed all my brushes yesterday and most of them are still wet, most of the face ones, and I was kind of looking at my makeup thinking, okay, I need to be choosing stuff that I can use without brushes. So yeah, this could be interesting. Shall I zoom you in just a little bit maybe? Yeah. I can't believe we are so close to December now. I don't know about anyone else, but yeah, it doesn't really feel like it's nearly December, and I'm kind of going through all the motions of what I would normally be doing to organise myself for Christmas and stuff. But I don't know, I just, I'm not feeling it quite yet. I don't know why. I absolutely love Christmas. It's one of my favourite times of year, but it's just a bit of an odd one. I think partly it's because in December it's my son's fourth birthday, so I have been thinking about that a huge amount. And his birthday is actually at the end of December, and it's on a day that probably not many people would be able to attend a party. So what we've done instead is we've booked our local hall and we're going to have a party, I think, is it the second weekend in December, I think I went for? So yeah, I've been just thinking an awful lot about that at the moment. It's been quite distracting. And I obviously know that Christmas is there, it's creeping up, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of party central at the moment. By the way, I should have said, if you're not used to my style of get ready with me, I don't tend to talk about the makeup a huge amount because I've got so many other videos where I do talk about makeup. However, if you're curious about any of the stuff that I'm putting on my face, then there's always going to be a list in the description box of not only the makeup that I'm using, but also the tools as well. But there's not gonna be many tools because they're all drying. I need to get on the case and order some more party bits because before I started working, I could just order stuff whenever and I didn't have to worry about it. And now I actually have to plan if I'm going to be home or not because a lot of people that I work with obviously just get packages sent to work but I can't really do that because I only work part-time and I suppose I could just pick it up again when I'm next in but I'd rather have it at home really so I'm just trying to plan ordering stuff when I know I'm actually going to be home but I've just finished my long week at work this week so next week's my short week so hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of stuff organized I'm gonna have to because his party's gonna be here before I even know it and I've got lots of decorations I want to get ordered because we, we want to really go for it, we want to kind of detract away from the fact that it's Christmas and to make him feel as though he's having a birthday because we've quizzed quite a few people who have birthdays in December and if you're watching this and you have a birthday in December let me know in the comments what you think about it. I suppose in reality, you don't really know any different, but I'd just be curious to find out how your family sort of handled it and what you think about your birthday, because I am very keen from people I've been speaking to just to try and make as best separation as possible, which is going to be really hard, but I'm gonna try. If you've spotted my nails, by the way, they are a bit of a disaster at the moment. You may well know that one of my nails broke really quite badly. I think I was talking about it on Facebook. And I was trying the teabag technique on it. It was this fingernail here. So obviously you can see 
didn't really pan out very well. I did manage to save it for a couple of days because it was a very low down break. And if you're not familiar with the tea bag technique, what it essentially is, there are videos on this, but I think they make it look like it's a lot more straightforward than it actually is having used this technique quite a few times. Because in the video, you're just essentially cutting out a bit of dry tea bag, the actual bag itself, because it's very thin and very absorbent, so it works quite well with nail polish. And you're basically using the tea bag to kind of patch up any breaks that you've had. And with a lot of other situations I've had where the break's not been quite so significant, it's worked really well. But this was a significant break. It was basically almost halfway across. I was so annoyed. So I thought, okay, let's just put this tea bag hack to the test, truly to the test. Because in a video I've seen on it, I think it's the one that, that's gone kind of viral. There's a lot of views on it. They literally just use, I think it's a piece of tea bag to cover pretty much the whole nail. And then they just show them kind of bonding it in place with some clear varnish. And then I think they buff over the top of it and then they put polish over the top and you see the nails and you wouldn't even know there's anything wrong with it. I'm not sure it's quite as good as that. I don't know how they made it to look like that in the video because you definitely see edges and I've tried buffing the tea bag away with my nail buffer but because it's pink it just then makes the tea bag look a bit pink and at the end of the day you're using it to strengthen a break so you don't really want to buff it away too much so yeah it's taken quite a bit of experimentation to get it to the point where I can actually grow a nail through a break but you kind of have to have quite a specific break for it to work clearly if it's a significant break it's not really gonna cut it. But I was doing quite well with this one. What ended up happening is I was just about to go out the door, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. And I was brushing my hair, my hair was wet at the time, and my hand slipped. And you do use your index finger an awful lot. When you try not to use it, you kind of realize that actually it's just gonna be there. In most situations, it can't be avoided. And the hairbrush just kind of dinked against my nail just where it was quite weak and I just thought oh I need to go out I haven't got time to sort this out so I put a plaster on it and I thought I'll deal with it when I get back and then I got back went to deal with it and I noticed the other side I don't know whether it was because of the fact that it was already broken and it was weakened but the other side had also started a break and there was basically hardly any nail unbroken and I just thought do you know what Let's just cut it off because I think it's got to the point where at least it's not too low now. But I absolutely hate having short nails, it feels horrible. So I cut all the rest down and then I noticed that this one had started to break as well. So, fabulous. I'm gonna put some powder on as usual but I've got no brushes to kind of sweep the excess off. So I'm gonna to have to improvise somehow, I think. Going back to Christmas, I don't know whether this is a uh, specific to the UK thing or whether this happens in other countries. So let me know, cause I'm very curious. It seems like in the last few years, TV adverts have just gone absolutely crazy. And if you don't know what I mean, if you don't live in the UK and you're kind of unaware of the scale of the spend that people go to for advertising at Christmas, have a look on YouTube at some of the videos by John Lewis, the department store. I think they were the ones who kind of really went for it and there's been some amazing ones over the year. And I read somewhere that this year, I think most places are spending even more than usual. But to be honest with you, I don't rate this year. I don't think there are many good adverts out there. Now, I'm not the kind of person to sit down and watch adverts in this world of kind of demand TV and being able to fast forward through things and stuff if you've recorded it. But a Christmas advert is the exception. And I've been re-watching a few of the really good ones from the last few years. And oh, I just find myself getting quite choked. It's ridiculous. I've been watching them with my little boy 
and we've been loving them but unfortunately the 2017 offering for Christmas adverts I've just not seen any that I would consider to be a classic. There is a supermarket called Aldi who, I don't know if it was last year or whether it's been going on for longer than this, but is it Kevin the carrot? He's quite a character, so he's like an animated carrot and they've brought him out again this year and that's quite nice. You've also got Paddington Bear for Marks and Spencers and their advert this year with him does seem to be more of your kind of typical Christmas advert. But the John Lewis one, and they were always the ones to beat, you know, everyone got really excited about seeing that advert when it was released, as crazy as that may sound. This year with, is it Moz the Monster? I'm just not really feeling it. It just doesn't feel very special. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about, and you're susceptible to kind of Christmas marketing stuff that really gets you in the feels, you know, then have a look at some of the Christmas adverts that are out there if you haven't seen them, because John Lewis have done some really good ones in the past. I really liked last year's Marks and Spencer's advert as well with Mrs. Claus. We rewatched that one the other day and it feels quite epic in terms of the production of it. It's all to do with Father Christmas going off to obviously do what he does best on Christmas Eve and then Mrs Claus gets a last minute letter about this little boy and oh just thinking about it it's it's getting me going now it's it's a really sweet one and she has to deliver this last minute present and of course with it being Marks and Spencers she's unbelievably glamorous presumably she's all kitted up in Marks and Spencer's clothing so if you've not seen that one that's a really good one as well but I've been thinking quite a bit about my Christmas or I shouldn't really say Christmas content my December content because December is going to be here very soon and as you probably know, I do have an advent calendar, which I will be doing a daily unboxing for the same as I did last year. However, unlike last year, I now have a job. So it was perfectly manageable last year. And I was actually having a look at my videos from last year the other day, which was quite cringeworthy. But I was having a look at my videos because I couldn't remember if I just did the advent calendar unboxing or whether I kind of did my usual content as well. And I did actually do both. So I am not 100% sure how achievable that is going to be for me this year, just purely because I am working and it's going to be quite a challenge just to do the advent calendar itself. So I guess what I'm saying is you're probably gonna have to bear with me a little bit. The advent calendar unboxing will definitely be there. It's just the other stuff I'm not sure about. I'm going to have to see how December pans out because not only am I obviously doing the daily advent calendar, but December is obviously a busy month anyway for most people. And our kind of social diary just seems to have gone a little bit crazy. So yeah, I don't know what's going to be achievable, but at the very least, there is going to be a daily unboxing of my beauty advent calendar. So I am really excited about that. It is gonna be a fair amount of hard work, but I am really looking forward to it because it was so much fun last year. I've researched a lot in terms of what advent calendar to go for, and I'm still going to keep it as a surprise, but I did do an awful lot of research in terms of which one to get. And I do know the contents of what I have for this advent calendar, because I wanted to make sure that the products I was getting were things that I actually did want. But I've pretty much forgotten what a lot of it is. A couple of things I can remember, but it was just a case of when I was sort of researching it, I was looking at things and then trying to decide pretty quickly whether I thought it was going to be a contender or not, because there are so many out there. You guys will have to let me know if you've decided to get one this year and what you've got, because what I would love to do is in the comments on each day in December when I'm opening my advent calendar, I'd really like to know what you guys have got as well. 
whether it be a beauty advent calendar or some of the other ones that are out there because there are so many different kinds now. I've been very good. I've actually dug out my Naked 2 palette, which my husband bought me, was it for last Christmas? And it very rarely sees the light of day. I always forget there's a brush in here that needs to be cleaned, but because I don't use it very often, I don't think it matters quite so much as the other ones that I use on the daily, but I do feel quite bad because this was a Christmas present from last year, so I thought, right, let's dig it out and actually use it because it's a beautiful palette. I don't really know why I just don't tend to reach for it very often. Speaking of Christmas gifty stuff, I'm now starting to have a look at what Christmas gifts are out there in terms of maybe letting a few people know and giving them ideas of what to get me for Christmas. I did do a video last year on the channel in terms of what was on my wish list and to be fair some of it was like it's it's not going to happen but it's still on my wish list kind of scenario. I wouldn't expect people to spend ridiculous sums but it's always nice to have a look at some of the stuff that's out there that you know is just never going to happen. But you can dream, you know, you can have a look and think, oh, that would be amazing. So I'm going to be having a look at what's out there and I'll probably be doing another video this year in terms of what's on my wish list. So I cannot wait to film that one. Let me know if you've seen anything really good that you quite fancy for Christmas because... My list is rapidly filling up. There are so many nice things out there. It's quite frustrating how busy we're going to be in December in a way because I feel as though I still have a lot of things that I need to film, like a review of this, for instance, which is on my list of things to do, but some videos are just a lot more time consuming to produce than others. I also, as you probably know, have a ton of foundations that need testing but those videos are probably the longest type of videos for me to produce. So I tend to try and save filming those kind of things when I know it's my short week at work. So it's my short week next week, so hopefully I'll be able to do something like that next week because even just doing the swatches and getting a decent picture of swatches can be quite tricky and obviously time consuming as well. But it's frustrating because I really, really love doing those videos. Getting my hair done tomorrow, which is really exciting. I'm getting it cut and coloured. Nothing exciting or adventurous, just the usual kind of trim and a bit of a colour on it to just cover up all the grey hairs that are showing through. Although it seems to have come round really quickly and my hair's not actually feeling really bad like it needs a trim, so hopefully it's in pretty good condition at the moment. I've just used up, I think, my last kind of normal shampoo and conditioner, so the bottle of new wash that I have got sat in the wardrobe can hopefully be cracked out, because I wanted to get rid of everything else first, although weirdly, I seem to have stockpiled a ton of conditioner, which I know I'm not going to get through, but I'm sure I can pass it on to someone. But that's worked out to be really good timing because it means that I can have a fresh haircut, fresh hair colour, and I can just start using new wash again, and I cannot wait. I know I have talked about this stuff so many times. There can't be many things in life in terms of shampoo and conditioner where you actually just can't wait to wash your hair because it's so blooming nice. Oh, and for those of you who were curious about the importing side of New Wash, and when I did my review, I know there was at least one person in the comments who was a bit concerned about how much it would be to import to the UK. The prices that you see on the website, if it is something you want to try, are the prices you will pay. So, I don't think there was any charges for shipping or for duty, but I will double check that and I will pop on screen if I've got that wrong. But certainly from a duty and customs point of view, they ship via DHL, which is the same as Tarte, and somehow, and I don't fully understand how this works, whether it's just because they've already included the VAT in the price that you see, you don't actually pay any extra 
So when they sent this latest order to me, I didn't pay any shipping or any customs duty or anything like that. The price I saw on the site was the price I paid, which I know Tarte do that from time to time when they ship via DHL. They sometimes have an offer for free international shipping and it's exactly the same you don't pay anything extra but I'm hoping that because the bottle of new wash I've gone for is the really big one I've actually joined the new wash club at the moment I don't know how long that big bottle is gonna last me so I'm just gonna contact them when I need a replacement but if you know it's gonna last you say three or four months they can automatically send it out to you after that time or I suppose just before that time so you don't run out and in doing so when I put that order through I got the big metal canister to go in the shower which is the one that I wanted I'm hoping the pump on that would dispense more product and then they just send you like a little plastic pouch where you can refill it each time and then I think included with that, there was a little like mini travel sized one as well. So you can also decant some into that as well. If you wanted to take some to the, the gym or you were going away somewhere or something, rather than obviously take the huge massive metal bottle around with you everywhere. But I'm really looking forward to just streamlining my hair care routine again, because one of the many things that I like about new wash is if you wash your hair in the shower, which I know not everybody does, but that's where I tend to wash my hair, is you get your hair wet, you put your new wash in, you give it a good scrub through, and then you just leave it in your hair to do its thing whilst you're then washing the rest of your body, and then you just rinse it out at the end, and that's all you need to do. You don't need to worry about a separate kind of shampoo or conditioner. And for me, that's a huge selling point because it just takes a lot of the faff out of having to do my hair because I must admit, I don't massively look forward to washing and particularly drying my hair. I'm sure lots of people don't really. It can be quite a pain in the bum. So any way that we can make it a bit less painful is no bad thing. Oh, I just remembered something. If you haven't watched my Yode watch review video, this video should be going up on Sunday the 19th and that is the last day that you can enter the giveaway to win a store credit. So if you've not watched the video or you didn't even know that there was a giveaway included in it and you'd be interested in getting your hands on one of their beautiful wooden watches then today is the last day that you can actually enter the giveaway. So go and have a look at my Yode watch review video for more details. It's always fun trying to apply blush with just your fingers, but sometimes, do you know what? It's actually no bad thing at all, really. Right, I think I am nearly done. I have just got lips to do now. I've actually been really liking using this lip pencil. I really like the colour and I've always been really conscious of my lips and try not to draw too much attention to them. But I just think there's something really pretty actually about quite a defined Cupid's bow, which is not something I ever thought I would say. But I just like the fact that you can give your lips a little bit more definition without putting on an absolute ton of product and worry about it slip sliding around. I just kind of blend it with my finger just to soften the edges a little bit. And I suppose it almost creates a bit of an ombre effect as well, which I believe is quite good if you've got smaller lips and you want to make them look a bit bigger. I mean, my lips are already quite full, but I just like the way that it just kind of defines them a little bit more, I suppose. And I think I'm actually done. Just give my hair a little bit of a zhuzh. So it's pretty much dry now. I always feel a lot better once I've kind of broken the cast off my styling product a little bit more. So yeah, that is me done. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up down below as it does really help support my channel. And if you are new and would like to subscribe to see more content like this from me in the future, 
I will pop a button just here so you can click it and get notified of new content as and when it gets uploaded. And if you've not seen my last video, I will pop a link to that one just up here so you can click it and check that one out too. Anyway, I hope you're all really well and I will see you again soon. Bye!